Hey everyone, welcome back to Hacky Lessons for another One Piece deck profile and this is a OP04 upgraded Rob Lucci list. Now I'm just going to warn you right now, I'm going to mention some very, very mild spoilers for the arc after Wano, so if you haven't seen anything past the anime, uh, this is your warning now. So I've done a slightly like egghead theme in this build. And that is to celebrate my new egghead mat. Have a look at it, I'm really proud of it. Uh, I'm not that great of a drawer, so I traced a lot of elements of it, but I uh, designed the uh, like, uh, you know, the colors and the background and all that to put them, put them together. Um, I think it looks good, so I am happy to have made that. So Rob Lucci was a deck that I built at the start of OP03 and never actually played at locals. I sort of never really quite liked it. I, you know, had it built to practice with and everything, but I didn't want to do like a massive navy thing or anything. I want to do cipher pole stuff. And so I was about to de-sleeve it so I could use the black sleeves for some OP04 decks. I had all my OP04 pulls sitting there and I'm like, well, why not try some OP04 stuff in there? Um, there is a uh, precedent for that working well. And because I still didn't want to do too much navy stuff, I kept it cipher pole-y and it's kind of vaguely thematic to Egghead, so that's that's why I like it. So the leader, if you don't know him, is Rob Lucci, and once per turn, when you KO an opponent's characters, you can trash two cards to restand him, and that can be done whether they're KO'd by battle or effect. This is an effect that you don't really want to do unless you go up a game, because trashing two cards from hand can be costly, unless you have two cards in hand that are no use to you, and then that's fine. So we'll look at the Cypher Pole, engine first which is about roughly half the deck you want to have a little bit of consistency one way or the other so searcher is of course spandom he searches top three and then finds a cypher pole and then trashes some you might end up whiffing and you know that's all right because we, we do want to get the trash filled regardless so along that line of thinking is two copies of stussy i would like her at four but she's also kind of um, very inconsistent because there are barely any targets for her. So she, on play, looks at top three and will play a character card with Cypher Pole type uh, other than Stussy with a cost of two or less. So there's only like three targets in the card pool at all for that. That's Spandom, that's uh, one, one A, which is not in my list. And then there is the two cost vanilla Jerry. So four copies of him just so Stussy is more likely to hit something. And that is just um, for some low cost attacks, you know, because uh, the rest of the deck is pretty high cost. So if we can get some little bodies on the board, we can do a little bit of damage uh, when we can. And then the Khalifa 2k counter on play, draw two cards, trash two cards. And then one of your opponent's characters gets minus two cost. Sometimes that will be useful, but I'm not leaning too heavily in the uh, cost reducing to KO stuff in this deck. So Fukuru blocker is he's three cost, he can't be KO'd by effects, so that makes him very valuable. Kaku is always useful, even if you're not doing much cost reduction, there's still something he'll be able to KO. And then he's a 6,000k attacker, which is pretty strong. And then a little bit of emergency rush, two copies of Rob Lucci. Um, we're not leaning on the ability to have rush, but it's it's good to have it when you need it. And then the final cypher pole card is four copies of Six King Pistol. And it's specifically this event card because it costs zero. Uh, you can trash something that doesn't have counter and then um, the, what I'm thinking is to go aggressive, I want to be able to use all of my Don every turn. So if I'm relying on an event card that costs Don to use, I won't be able to do that. So at least six King Pistol costs zero. Now we have a bit of a Dress Rosa engine. So four, four copies of Rebecca to do the searching. Basically the same as Spandom. Searches top three, finds the Dress Rosa and then trashes the rest. Two copies of Yats, he is a 2k counter, and in a pinch, uh, which won't come up very often, but in a pinch, you could play him and give one of your Dressrosa characters the ability, the ability to attack active mode characters. 
Four copies of Bartolomeo, he is both a 2k counter and he's a blocker, so depending on what is going to be more useful for you, you can apply him as such. And then uh, the big boy, it is gear for Luffy, four copies of him, he is basically the main card for the deck. So you want to get him out and go for game with him, and then subsequently you attack twice, and then the opportunity may or may not come up for your leader to attack twice as well if you get one of your opponent's characters KO'd and so because Luffy can attack after he come over characters that's pretty likely to happen or if they have blockers or whatever. If you are not able to go for game I like to which I mean it's not exactly a surprising strategy I think most people are doing this but I haven't faced a Rebecca deck too yet so I haven't really seen it in action but you if you can't go for game, you attack with him once, re-stand him, and then let him sit there in active mode. And that is why people don't like the card, because he can do that. But once you have restood him and ended turn, well, you're about to end turn, you can play a Sabo, so four copies of the Sabo blocker, and that will just protect him, because Sabo will give him the protection of him not being able to be KO'd or any of your black characters. Um, and then two copies of Triano Bastardo, this is just an extra bit of removal. It is a four cost, it will hit a four cost or less, or if you have 15 or more cards in your drop, it will hit a six cost or less. And that is plausible if you haven't used Luffy to return too much back in your hand. And also your Cypher Pulse stuff is your, your Kakus and your Luchis return stuff to hand. So you've got you to gotta manage if you need this card or not to be able to hit a six cost or less. And then just a final bit of big hit, big uh, removal piece. Two copies of the Secret Rare Kuzan. He is the only card in this deck that is not searchable one way or the other. So, well actually I suppose Rebecca can't search for herself and Spandam can't search for himself. But other than that, yes, he is former Navy. And that is my list. It's, uh, it's a bit of fun. Um, I don't think I'm unique in thinking of the idea of putting Gear 4 Luffy in it, but from what I hear, most people are doing it with Navy stuff, and I'm not interested in doing Navy stuff. I like Cypher Pulse, so there's a little slightly egghead theme to it with the characters involved. But, um, yep, so if you like that deck profile, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know if you try it out, and I'll see you next time for the next deck profile.